<clears throat> Death. It's the only immortal that treats all of us alike. Whose pity, whose peace, and whose refuge is for all. For the soiled and the pure, for the rich and the poor, for the loved and the unloved. Mark Twain once spoke these words. Friends, relatives, even mere acquaintances. <coughs> we all gather here for Jenny's passing. Many of us can say that she was loved as no other, just as she had her ever-present charm and her boundless energy. <coughs> Many of us can say that tragedy had befallen her so soon. I can say that it feels as though I had met her only yesterday, for the memory was so vivid. I remember walking into Petco in order to buy a bed for my Persian cat, Ulysses. As I browsed through all the beds, looking for only the softest and the plushest for my Ulysses, I settled upon a red one with white inlet, for I figured that brown, uh, brown or black inlet would make the first stick out. As I headed toward the checkout counter, I heard a faint gurgling off to the side. I was drawn to a crowd where apparently there was a tremendous sale going on. And there was her presence. Her luminescence stuck out. The bond was instantaneous. It was the second that our eyes had met. We departed from my home in great haste. Our friendship grew quickly. We enjoyed a late dinner and then watched some late night television programming. Most of the common comedy and drama that ensues. The hours seemed like minutes. Our souls seemed intertwined. I gave Ulysses his gift and I headed off to bed, and we dreamt of the most wondrous of dreams. Alas, all things do not end well, and I awoke to Ulysses choking on the end table. It was all over so fast, <coughs> and she regurgitated the remains of Jenny, no longer glowing her goldfish glow. <laughs> the five stages of grief hit so hard. First I was in denial, leaving her there in the bowl, watching her standing there upright as though she was putting on a show or simply entertaining me. <laughs> then I became angry. Ulysses should be punished for what he had done. Maybe it was out of jealousy. Or maybe Jenny was just leading me on as though to make me suffer. <laughs> then I bargained with whatever and whomever just to bring her back, just for the great times that we shared. And then the depression finally set in. I realized she wasn't coming back. And it broke my heart. The loss of this deep never occurred to me before. But then I finally accepted it. I wasn't happy, but I was at ease. And I realized that I could live again. <laughs> all of this happened yesterday. And although the loss that we've all suffered is heavy indeed, we must remind ourselves that just as the journey that Jenny has made, we cannot escape from the swirling suction of oblivion. We have to live each day to its fullest. Thank you for coming. <laughs>